standardization of NaOH. So, as I told you, sodium hydroxide is a strong base and it is a secondary standard substance which is base. And what is a standardization? It is the process of finding out the actual concentration of NaOH solution. Theoretically, you will be given any particular concentration of NaOH like 0.1 normal or 1 molar or 1 normal, whatever. But you cannot be sure that the stated concentration is at exactly the same concentration which you have got. So you have to be sure that what is its actual concentration. So how you will do it? You will do it by standardization. Means you will compare it with a primary standard substance. You will undergo the process of titration and you will find out whether the said concentration is its actual concentration or not. So, as I told you, NaOH is a strong base and it is a secondary standard substance. We will use aqueous acid based titration for this matter. So, if secondary standard is a base, I will need a primary standard which is an acid. So, here I will use oxalic acid as my primary standard substance. So, you can say standardization of NaOH solution using oxalic acid as a primary standard. Okay. So, as I told you, this will be a process of titration. So, there will be someone in the monitor class, someone in the unit and there will be one indicator. Now, oxalic acid is a weak acid and NaOH is a strong base. So, for weak acid, strong base kind of titrations, phenolphthalein indicator is indicator of choice. So, phenolphthalein indicator I will use. Now, phenolphthalein indicator will be colorless when your medium is acidic and it will turn pink when the medium becomes basic. So, this indicator can uh, behave as a very good indicator for this kind of titrations. Now, before starting the titrations, there is one prerequisite, which is preparation of reagents. So, first we need to prepare the required reagents. So, in this case, I will take an example of 0.1 normal concentration. So, first we have to prepare 0.1 normal concentration of uh, solution of NaOH and oxalic acid. For this, we will need two volumetric flasks. And in that volumetric class, we will prepare the solutions of uh, NaOH and oxalic acid. So, if I need to prepare 0.1 normal NaOH, what I will do? I will weigh 4 grams of NaOH and I will dissolve it in water to make the volume 1 liter. So, I will use 1 liter volumetric flask and I will dissolve 4 grams of NaOH in it. And if I want to prepare 0.1 normal oxalic acid solution, I have to make 6.3 grams of oxalic acid dissolve it in water till the volume becomes 1 liter. So basically I have prepared the solutions. Now, when I weighed 6.3 gram oxalic acid and dissolve it in water to make 1 liter solution and when I am saying it is 0.1 normal concentration, it actually is. Why? Because oxalic acid is a pure substance. It is stable at room temperature. It is not hygroscopic. It will not undergo any oxidative degradation. It will not absorb any CO2 from the atmosphere and undergo any degradative changes. So, when I, and the impurity level will be very low, like 0.01 to 0.02%. So, you can be sure that when I say I have prepared 0.1 normal concentration of oxalic acid, it actually is 0.1 normal. But this is not the case with NaOH. When I say I have weighed 4 grams of NaOH and I have dissolved it in water to make 1 liter and the concentration is 0.1 normal, I cannot believe it. Why? <coughs> Sorry. Because NaOH is a secondary standard substance. Now being a secondary standard substance, it is prone to impurities. It is prone to oxidative damage. It is prone to hydrolysis and it is basically very hygroscopic. So at any given point of time, NaOH always has the impurities of sodium carbonate. So we cannot trust this concentration. Now we need to find out if we have prepared 0.1 normal concentration but it actually is a 0.1 normal or not. Okay. So how we will do that? We will do it with standard action. We 
means titration. So what I will do, I will take 10 ml of 0.1 normal oxalic acid solution in the conical flask. Now I will use a pipette, right? Because it will exactly measure 10 ml volume. Huh? I will not use any, uh, you know, measuring cylinder, etc. I have to use a very fine calibrated pipette for pipetting out the given required volume of that primary standard substance. Now I will take it in the conical glass. I will add a drop of phenolphthalein indicator. And then I will fill my burette with this NaOH solution. I will not say 0.1 normal because I don't know whether it is 0.1 normal or not. So I will fill the burette with NaOH solution. I will take 10 ml 0.1 normal oxalic acid in the conical glass. And I have added one drop of phenolphthalein. Now I started the titration. Means actually my NOH started falling down in the oxalic acid solution. Now when oxalic acid and NOH react together, they will undergo a reaction with neutralization. Acid reacts with base to form salt and water. So it will form sodium oxalate and water. Now when the reaction is complete, equivalence point comes. When the extra drop of NOH falls down, it makes the solution basic. As soon as the solution turns basic, phenol phthalene turns pink. And that is the point when I come to know that, okay, the reaction is complete. This is my end point, right? So at the end point, I have a particular reading for volume of NOH consumed for complete reaction with 10 ml of 0.1 normal oxalic acid. Are you getting it? What did I do? I just found out the exact volume of this NaOH solution required to completely react with a solution of non-concentration, non-volume, non-concentration. So, now I am having, uh, let's say the reading comes 10 ml. Hmm? For example, for reacting with 10 ml 0.1 normal oxalic acid, 10 ml NOH solution was consumed. Now I am having a very simple equation which is N1V1 is equal to N2V2. This reaction works uh, for normal solutions. N is for normality. If you are using molar solutions, you have to replace N1 by M1V1 is equal to M2V2. But as I have taken normal solutions, I will use this equation N1V1 N2V2. Now what you have to do? One side you put primary standard substance, other side you put secondary standard substance. Now who is your primary standard? In this case, oxalic acid. And who is secondary standard? NOH. Now, what is the normality of oxalic acid? You know, it is 0.1 normal into. What is the volume of oxalic acid you used? You used 10 ml. So I put 10 ml. Is equal to. What is the normality of NOH? I don't know. I need to find it out. So I will write X. And what is the volume of NOH solution? What is the volume of NOH solution? It is the burette reading. It is called as burette reading. Huh? In actual you have to take three readings. Three readings and you have to average them. Okay. So this burette reading you have to put here. Now as I have uh, assumed that my burette reading is 10 ml. I will write here 10 ml. Now it is very easy. X is equal to 0.1 normal into 10 ml upon 10 ml. So my answer will be 0.1 normal. And this is what? This is the actual concentration of NOH solution. So in this case, whatever concentration I had prepared is the actual concentration of that NOH solution. If there are some impurities or if your reading differs from 10 ml, you may get a different kind of result here and that is the actual concentration of your NOH solution. Now if you are using that sodium hydroxide solution as a titrant for reaction with any pharmaceutical compound for any acid then you have to consider this concentration for that NOH solution. So now you can call it as a standard NOH solution or standardized NOH solution. Because now you know the actual concentration of that sodium hydroxide solution. So this is the process, this is the way of standardizing a secondary standard substance using a primary standard substance. 
सो फ्रेंड्स टूडे आई हैव कवर्ड आई होप आई हैव कवर्ड वेल द बेसिक्स ऑफ टाइट्रेशन द टाइप्स ऑफ टाइट्रेशन देन द प्राइमरी स्टैंडर्ड एंड सेकेंडरी स्टैंडर्ड सब्सटेंस द रिक्वायरमेंट्स देर एग्जाम्पल्स एंड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन ऑफ एनिमल सोल्यूशन यूजिंग ऑक्साइलिक एसिड सो वी विल डिस्कस एसिड ऑफ डिफरेंट फार्मास्यूटिकल कंपाउंड्स इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन सो टिल देर बाय बाय थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग